Look at the track in this amazing. People are coming from all over the world and interacting with PhD students from, from Bielefeld and on the other side we are inviting high level experts from all over the world and they are as well adding something new to that type of interaction. The part that we have to learn. But that's, and she does get better over you know, that, that 180 day period. To see Come yeah, the, the speakers are really interesting for, for us. Um, like Andrew's presentation about like the exoskeleton, it's just it's just so amazing to see what, what's going on there. But also Christian's presentation on deep learning. So deep learning is a thing now. Everybody's yeah. doing it. We're doing it. So, so it's it's really interesting to see what people have to say and, and what the limits and potentials of that are in robotics. So. The areas in which the keynote talks were are actually quite interesting in and uh, like interested in all these areas. I don't actively work in all of them, but I'm quite interested in them. So that's why you saw me asking so many questions during the, the keynote talks. And uh, I think it was quite exciting. Like some of the work by Andrew Schwartz was, was very cool. And also by Ralph Etain Cummings was, ex was ex excellent. And I think the topics are, are really great. They sort of correspond to what's special about this place. So my suggestion in this talk is to learn from how humans adjust to us that independent of what they said, the robot's uh, robot behavior was scripted. So it would make I think it's a really inspiring and motivating atmosphere because if you see people, PhDs are coming from Japan, Kuwait, Venezuela, Italy and from different places in the world and meeting PhD students from Bielefeld which are as well coming from Mexico or from other places and you see that type of interaction that is really wonderful and we created a lot of workshops or meetings at our large scale projects which are addressing the topic interaction and that is what I like that we are in a really, let's say, interactive and sensitive atmosphere. The participants are just amazing. There is so much knowledge sharing happening around. And I mainly go to places like this for motivation. And I feel that I'll already on the second day, I have more than enough to go back and continue what I'm doing. I was actually surprised that quite a lot of people were interested in what I was doing, <laughs> which doesn't always happen. <laughs> so that was really nice, yeah. Well, so far from all the demos we've seen, I can say that it is way advanced and uh, the quality is really good. So, and from all the demos that I've seen at least, I think they are even better than the ones that we have, so I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> of the contact, um, doing some rotational uh, motion or about the uh, All my work is uh, only simulations and trying to uh, build artificial neural network. So it's the first time for me to uh, to interact with uh, with robots and see the real hardware robotic side. So that's quite an interesting to me. Ha, ha, ha.